So there's a bump right under here. You can't really feel it. I mean, see it, you can feel it. So when we remove it, we'll be able to see what it is. Have you lived in this area most of your life? I've been here for about 20 years oh, from Glendora. Know. Oh, okay. Isn't that been like a nice little hidden place that I think a lot of people don't know as much about? It's a smaller town, you know? I feel that way. You miss Glendora? <laughs> Glendora has its nice hills, though. It does have homes up there. She's got a nice downtown. Yeah, they do. We don't have too much. No. Of the downtown. That is true. Just put a little more just in case. You guys know. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Not hurting you too bad, right there? Right? Not hurting you? No. So this is our little punch. I'm using a 3-0 punch here. Just make sure I'm not hurting you. I don't think I should be at all. Let's see what we have under there. Because you say you've never had it, anything squeeze out of it or anything. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a cyst, but yeah, I do believe it's a cyst. But let's see if I can't squeeze anything from it. it out. Show it to you if you want to see it. See your little cyst that came out of there? It's weird. Yeah, it's right under there. There's a little ball under there. Just a cyst. A regular cyst. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, isn't that cute? <laughs> <laughs> just make sure we get it all because the issue is if you don't get it all, it can come back more so. So let's just push it around here. If, as long as I'm not hurting you, of course. And make sure I get that little area with this little sack that's there. Yes, I lost grip. They're always like are a little bit bigger when you goodness sakes, yours is evading me. You okay, huh? Mm hmm You have to get out the entire sack here or else it'll come back. So this is like the little sack of contents. You can see see the little sack it's encased in. Ugh. Oh, come on. It's interesting. Science. It's good. So I was in health and science. <laughs> well, let me grab some gauze here. I think we got it all now. So, you know, you probably see some gross things out there with your jaw. And this grosses you out more, huh? No, this isn't gross. Oh, okay. Well, it's not like something you love to watch, like some people do. <laughs> like our followers do. Whatever we can do to help science. Right? Or make people happy. I'm just going to put two stitches in here that, you know, you may be able to take out yourself. I'm sure you know how to do yeah. stitches. Yeah. But I would wait like 10 days. Okay. And you have a lot of hair here, so I might just give you an antibiotic that you don't even necessarily have to take, but I almost feel like if I do that, less likely you'll need it. Okay. There are just two I can put in. This, you really want to find that other one, don't you? Yeah, I thought. It'll come I'll up next come time. I'll have to see you again. I still gotta freeze those two little things Thank under you. too anyway, so. Oh, she's putting a band-aid on here. Are you allergic to any medicines? No. Okay. Your hair wants to get involved. You might be taking a little forcep and trying to pull those out. Let's see if I can pull anything out of here if it's stuck. Some suture that's caught. I mean, some hairs that are caught under my suture here. There we go. Okay, two little, two little okay. um, sutures there. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna grab my.